Okay, so I had to order more skin tone for the lovely mama here. And since I wanted to do a different color, I went ahead and ordered a like a seafoam type color for her shirt. And then of course I just ordered some more fun things. It was my birthday anyway, right? So I have been holding on to these until I could find the time to record for you. So we are talking about them again. Da, 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 da. Diamond paint with sparklers. I tell you, if you want to add anything fancy to your um, projects, this is the place you got to go. All right, so first off, we'll talk, I'll show you what I ordered, and then we're going to do a little work on Missy here. So here is some yellow quads. So what I was thinking of these is for lighthouse lights. Isn't it funny how drills are always, ooh, dust, yuck. Let me cat hair, I swear. My house is very dusty just because I hate dusting, but the most of it, <laughs> the majority of the dust is cat hair. All right, so next we have these, which are beautiful pearls, which I think will be good to use on um, other diamond paintings, like the special drill diamond paintings, that kind of thing. See, let me put them here so I don't lose track. All right, so here is the color that I chose for her shirt. I think it's going to look really good. So that is what we'll be putting on her shirt. I got two bags of those just in case. That is 563 with the AB coating. So if you like that color, that's what you need to order. So that will be her shirt. And then I ordered three more bags of the 422 because I really liked it for a skin tone. Um, and I'll probably need, well, what's on here is two bags. So hopefully I'll only need one more bag, but I got three just to have them on hand. And then I bought emerald rhinestones Let me get my face out of the way so you can see emerald rhinestones for squares which of course i plan to use on the wizard of oz painting and then these uh, i bought some little packs of stickers which i will probably put in etsy orders or i will well i think they're kind of big i was going to say i was going to use them for cover minders but I think I'll just be popping these in Etsy orders. I bought another one of the diamond painting um, diamond kits. And that's it. So should we work a little bit on her? Thanks, Miss Tina. I love you. Ow. Okay. So let's see. Let me readjust here all right so i have my tray down and i have my piece let's see if i can tilt this a little bit more in your direction Ugh. i forgot i got stuff back there behind it okay so here's where we're working let me bring you down a little bit there we go now you can see where I'm working. So if you have not been on Etsy, you need to go as soon as you're done watching this video, as soon as you're done watching this video, go check out Etsy because I have lots of new things in the shop and you need to look through each listing because I have more than one type of item on some of the listings um, mainly because I was just trying to save a few uh, upload 
because I, I looked today just kind of curious, which I shouldn't do because it really upset me. Um, I have lost, well not lost, but I have paid over $200 to Etsy. And that is, of course, shipping labels. That's a big chunk of it. Um, but fees and taxes. So that's what made me decide to put not do everything on its own listing. So I, tr I kept him fairly um, consistent with, you know, like items, that kind of thing. But you will want to scroll through and open each, um, each listing because you will find other things in there besides just what the photo is on the home page. And I splurged from after the sale and I bought some new molds. One of them is so exciting. Cannot wait. It's curing right now or I would show you, but it's still too liquidy. Not going to carry that around the house. And it is, I really hope it works for what we can use it for. Because it, the possibilities are endless. And I'm going to put this out there. If you want to see lots of pieces using leftover drills, I'm going to need you to send me yours because I'm already running low on the stash I had plus it doesn't help that I gave a big chunk of it to my mom because she still makes cards and she likes making shaker cards and they they make colorful and really good um inserts for shaker cards so I had given her a bunch because I hadn't been using them that's not always, isn't that the way it always works, though? When you haven't used something and you get rid of it, then it's like, oh, man, I wish I still had that. But that's okay. I shared with my mama, and she's having fun with them, so that's all that matters. Okay, I'm going to have to put new wax on my pen, because clearly it's not wanting to pick up the drills, and it's really annoying. But look how nice that looks already. I think that's a good color next to the skin tone. Ugh. And again, if you um, are wondering where this, I'll show you a, a wide shot um, before I end the video. I just wanted to get some of her shirt done so you can see what it looks like. But um, if you are wanting this and you don't remember where I got it or didn't see where I got it the, the, on the first video, it is... Um, Crystal Canvas Art Design. Now my brain just went. Crystal Canvas Art Designs. CrystalCanvas.us is the website. I will have it linked in the description. That's where you can go get this canvas and a lot of other full rhinestone canvases. And I will also put the link to Tina's shop so you can go get your very own sparklers and AB drills and regular drills and specialty drills. She's got so much on her site now and it is so exciting to see a small business thriving like she is and I love it. I remember when she was just getting started I just want to get this first little section here done. So is it still hot where you live? Of course it's still hot here in Florida because as I saw someone post it's like being in Satan's armpit. If you can imagine how hot Satan would be if he really is in a pit of hell or a pit of fire. I thought that was pretty funny when I saw that. I saw that on Facebook. Somebody referred to the heat as Satan's armpit. Which is about what it feels like. Emily and her friend are over today, or Emily has a friend over today, and 
they were gonna go outside and roller skate and skateboard and they lasted all of about five minutes. <laughs> it's too hot out there. Uh, yeah, hello. How long have you lived in Florida? So funny. Kids are funny. They crack me up. So for Emmy, she's only got about two weeks before school starts. They go back um, second week of August. And we were able to find her some new clothes. So she has more than one outfit or two outfits to wear to school. She now has several shirts and several pair of jeans. She's got all of her supplies that she needs. So we have um, all of her school supplies, plenty of clothes. The only thing that I am concerned with is what she's going to eat while she's at school because of her autism and her sensory processing. She's got some serious, serious food issues and the, uh, the menu for the cafeteria is definitely not Emily friendly. So I don't know what she's going to do. She's going to have to figure out. She's not a sandwich person. Um, unless it's grilled cheese. But she won't make grilled cheese at home anymore because it doesn't taste right. So she only likes grilled cheese from Sonic. And she only eats chicken nuggets from McDonald's. And so, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. There's, there's really nothing, I mean, like, she loves pasta, that kind of stuff. So there's really nothing that she can pack that would still be good when she got to her lunch, you know what I mean? So I told her. She's going to have to figure it out, and I'm waiting to hear her decision, but she's still got a little bit of time before, you know, we have to have that figured out, but not much time left. It's just so weird. I just, I cannot believe she's already in seventh grade, and I really can't believe she wants to go to public school, so I just pray that I have prepared her well enough to deal with all the craziness that is middle school. And I just have to trust that I have done a good job raising her and given her enough power that she will be able to stand up for herself and not let people bully her and make fun of her but she and I are good with open dialogue I have told her her whole life that tell me whatever you want to tell me and always be honest and can't promise that I won't get mad but it will definitely be better than if you lie to me because if you lie to me you're really gonna get in trouble so, so far, her 12 years, that has worked. And she always starts with, I need to tell you something. And I'm like, oh crap, what now? <laughs> but you know, she is such a good kid. I'm so proud. And I just hope it, it stays that way when she's in school. She doesn't, you know, go give in to peer pressure and start doing stupid stuff but anyway so that is our current status getting ready for school and I am trying my hardest to not worry too much which is really hard for me anyway 
but I'm not trying to not project it onto her. I want I don't want her to be any more nervous than I'm sure she already will be. But we go um, we go on the ninth to get her schedule and take a tour of the school since she it'll be her first year there. She has no clue what the layout of the school looks like. But I am confident that she's in a good school. There aren't too many complaints about that school. Um, no serious problems, you know. There's the normal middle school stuff that every school deals with, but this school is a pretty good one. And I have two people that I know that work there that will keep an eye out for her. Especially, one especially because she knows Emily personally. And it's not just that she knows me. Um, and I know I can trust her and Emily knows that she can go to her if she has anything, you know, that she needs. She can go, she'll help her. All right, I'm starting to lose my it's hard for me to talk and do this at the same time that's why i don't ever do paint with me's because you know when you when you sit home all day with a kid and don't have any friends to hang out with i'm sure there's somebody out there that understands that you don't really have anything to talk about. And Emily is pretty much my whole world. Besides you and my diamond painting and my crocheting. I was thinking about starting um, using my other channel and starting to do like little simple beginners crochet tutorials. So if you are interested in that, and you like listening to me and watching me, then I'm not sure when I'm going to start it, because of course, i going to find the time. I don't want to, oh, my phone's about to die. Hang on. Let me plug it in. Hopefully it will reach. here little cord friend okay crisis averted okay Ugh. so I think that's a pretty good let me Here she is in all her glory. So beautiful. Look at the sparkle. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I am really happy with her shirt. And I'm very happy I made the decision to change. There you go. There's the sparkle. Look at that. Yes, she is on my bathroom floor. Don't judge. I'll see you next time. Yeah.